Well, what, what would you do, man, B? Like if you were working under someone and they were your supervisor and... Confront them. Confront them. Otherwise, I'm going to suffer. Why suffer? They're going to suffer either way, so I'd rather suffer when I'm on the front foot. You'd, you'd come with him with facts? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd come, not aggressively, I wouldn't come in emotionally, I'd just put it straight to him, black and white. It's binary. I don't like the way you treat me. Like, uh, you know, if you don't value me, that's fine. Uh, let me know straight up now, tell me what you think. You know, I've been getting a lot of uh, DMs on my very socials and Last week I talked about toxicity in the workplace and it's funny, you know, I, I've got a lot of um, responses out of that. And one of the responses I got here is, um, how would I deal with a toxic environment when my supervisor basically treats me like shit, yet everybody else in the organization thinks that this particular supervisor is wonderful. This is a case of which suffering is worse. If you are suffering minute to minute and day by day with somebody who is effectively bullying you in the workplace. Or even if it's not just bullying, but they are toxic towards you. You know, bullying is a bit too much, used too much. I mean, let's, let's call it just being toxic towards you. Like, not just being unkind is probably a better way to put in, put in being unkind. If you say nothing, you're going to suffer. And you're going to suffer every minute of the day for ages. And you're going to build up anxiety, you're going to, dis, you're going to hate going to work, etc. So, there's no point. I mean, there's no point in suffering like that. So for me, there is only one way to approach this. You have to get on the front foot and potentially suffer in another way. So that means going and confronting the individual, and I don't mean in an aggressive way, just in a binary, factual, black and white, upfront, listen dude, I don't like the way you talk to me, I don't like the way you disrespect me, I want to know right here, right now, what's your position? And put it on the table. Nine times out of ten, I can tell you now, bullies are gutless bastards. Nine times out of ten, okay? And they do it because they're fully insecure. They are so insecure, they see you as somebody that they can transfer their insecurity on by being aggressive towards you or by being toxic towards you. So, for me, the best thing to do is suffer a little bit. And this can create anxiety with a lot of people because they're not very good at just getting on the front foot stuff. But it's just another form of suffering and it's going to be quicker and you might get a better outcome because I can tell you one thing, if you lay down on the ground, and let them push you around, you're going to suffer for sure. Alternatively, get on the front foot and just put it straight to them. And if you're going to do this, do that environment where there's a desk in between you. You might choose to invite them for a cup of coffee. You know, you might so try and soften the arrangement. But put a desk in between you or put something in between you, a table in between you. Lean on the table, look them straight in the eye and tell them that you don't like the way or you perceive a certain way in relation to the way they treat you. And put it on them, do you respect me? Do you think I'm smart enough for the job? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Is there something you think I can do better? But not in a meek and mild way, just put it straight to them, black and white. And at least that puts them on their ass and then they have to answer the question to your face, straight, have to tell you straight up. Then after that you can reassess your position. One thing's for sure, they're going to reassess their position. And once you both reassess, then you can work out where you go from here. They might continue to bully you, at which point you're going to make a decision whether you're going to elevate it or you're going to get the hell out of there. A lot of times when you have these confrontations, and I don't mean a confrontation in a physical sense or an aggressive sense, I mean just confronting the issue, they get resolved. Because people have a whole lot more respect all of a sudden because you just come out and say what you think. Just, just remember this too. In the workplace, there are a lot of people who are toxic who don't actually realize they're being toxic. And sometimes they don't even intend to be toxic. Definitely don't intend to be a bully. And if they thought that you thought they were being a bully, they would be horrified. So there are some people who are totally insensitive and lack any empathy towards the response other people are having from the way they get spoken to. So sometimes it's just an education piece. So confront it, stand up to them. Make an appointment with the person who you feel offended by and do it and do it now. Don't stuff around. Make the decision, don't overthink it, just do it. <laughs>